Today we will show a quick video on how to configure the remote accessing using the High Connect application. There is a couple of steps we will go through to make sure that all the settings are configured correctly. Step number one is to check the TCP IP settings. So from the local GUI you will need to click on settings and then go to the network TCP IP settings. Before enabling the High Connect, we need to make sure that we assign the four critical basic IP addresses correctly, which are the IPv4 address and the IPv4 subnet mask, then the IPv4 default gateway and the preferred DNS server. Now I will enable the DHCP server just to make sure that the physical connection to the site main router is connected properly. For security system, it's always recommended to set a static IP address instead of using the DHCP server. Now I will disable the DHCP server to be able to assign static IPs. I'll have to first make sure that this IPv4 address is available and not assigned to any other device in my local network. So from any PC connected to the same network, I will just open the start menu and type in CMD which is the common prompt and then I will start to test the IP address availability by pinging the address. So as you can see, right now it's giving me destination host unreachable, which means this IP address, I can use it. Now I will go back to the MVR and assign the IP address 150. It's recommended to assign 8.8.8.8 .8 as the alternate DNS server. After assigning the alternate DNS server, I will press on apply to save the settings. Now I will test it one more time on the CMD to make sure that the IP address have been assigned correctly. As you can see, now while I'm pinging the MVR, I can get a reply back. Now after finishing the first step, let's start the second step by enabling the platform access. So we will go back to the local GUI and under the network we will go to the advanced settings, platform access. I will make sure that the access type is high connect and then I will enable the high connect. If the status is still offline, you will just need to refresh the page to make sure that it's online. On the same page, you will see the High Connect account states as Unlink, which means that you didn't assign this specific MVR to the Master High Connect account. Please note that the previous steps can be also done from the web interface of the MVR. You just need to log into the web interface of the device, and then you will go to the configuration, and under the network interface basic settings, this is the four basic major IP addresses, And under the advanced settings, we can go to the platform access to enable or check the states of the platform access. Please note that the stream encryption key, we will use it while adding the device to the high connect using the serial number method. Now we finish the second step and we will start the third step, which is downloading the high connect application to the end user mobile device. There is multiple ways to download the High Connect application, and as mentioned before, you can also download the application by scanning the QR code from the local GUI. And in case you don't have a local monitor, you can just visit our High Vision website on the High Vision App Store. From this page, you will be able to scan the QR code of all our High Vision applications.
After successfully installing the High Connect application, I'll just click on Open. Please make sure that you select the correct region. If your end user doesn't have a High Connect account, he will just click on register here and create his own High Connect account. After the end user create the High Connect account, he will need to log into his account to start linking his side device to the High Connect application. Now the High Connect application is ready for the last step. There is multiple ways of adding the device to the High Connect account. Either to use the scan QR code or adding the device manually using the serial number and the verification code. So I will go to my phone and click on the plus icon on the top right hand side and then I will click on scan the QR code. Now you need to scan the QR code which is on the left hand side from the local GUI of the MVR. As you can see the High Connect detected the MVR and now I will just press add to add the device to my High Connect list. Now it's all done and I can view the devices from my High Connect account. Since I already added the device using the QR code, I will have to delete the device to be able to show you how to add the device using the serial number. I will click on the device settings, then I will scroll down to delete the device. As you can see, the device has been deleted. Now I will press again on the top right hand side plus icon. And I will start to add the device using the manual adding method. Now I need to assign here the serial number of my device. Since I'm already on the local GUI, I will click on the maintenance page and then I will type in the serial number which consists of 9 characters. Please note that the serial number sometimes it starts with a letter and especially for the MVR it will be the 9 characters after the double C double R if you are reading the serial number from the local GUI of the MVR. So now I will start to assign the serial number of this MVR and then I will click on the save icon on the top right hand side. As you can see the High Connect application detected my MVR that it is available and online but when I press add I will get this prompt which asks me to assign the verification code since I'm adding the device using the serial number. And for the verification code I can get it from the local GUI or the web interface. I will just need to type the same verification code then I will carry on and add the device and now I can change the device name and save the settings and here it shows that the MVR has successfully added to my High Connect application. Thank you for watching.